let's get started with pathologies that can block up the small bowel, and then move on to some common types of hernias. It's time to drop in. The small bowel is the most common site of intestinal obstruction in the GI tract, due primarily to its relatively small lumen. Just stick to longboarding, kid. The most common cause of GI obstruction is mechanical stricturing of the bowel by adhesions, which are fibrous bands that develop in response to inflammation in the peritoneal cavity, just latching on the side of the bowel, like so. The most common cause of adhesions is prior abdominal surgery, but infections of the peritoneum and inflammatory bowel disease can lead to adhesion formation as well. In addition to adhesions, hernias, intussusception, and small bowel masses or tumors can also cause obstruction. For now, we'll just throw in a recurring cancer crab symbol. Don't worry, we'll cover those other two conditions in just a little bit. Patients with acute small bowel obstruction typically present with nausea and vomiting, obstipation, which is an inability to pass flatus or stool, and some on and off colicky abdominal pain. To show this, we'll sketch in our colicky collie who's ready to shred, plus our constipation plunger, and some nausea and vomiting, which kind of speaks for itself. SBO leads to a backup of gas in the bowels, so on physical exam, expect to find a distended tympanetic abdomen, kind of like a distended drum. Yup, he brought the bongo. He's that cool. Classically, you'll also be able to hear some high-pitched, tinkling bowel sounds on auscultation of the abdomen, which represent the small intestine's futile attempt to peristalse against an acute blockage. Tinkle, tinkle. Small bowel obstruction also has a characteristic appearance on abdominal x-ray. Bowel distension, seen as dilated loops of bowel, along with air fluid levels within those dilated loops. For the classic appearance of air fluid levels, take a look at the graffiti on the side of the half pipe. Gas is less dense than fluid, of course, so these trapped pockets of gas appear darker on the radiograph, kind of like these dark rain clouds. Also, look for that stark horizontal contrast line that separates the gas from the liquid below. 